Okay. Uh, hello and welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Let's finish. Let's finish StarCraft. We're on the last mission for the Protoss. This might take a very short amount of time, or it could take an hour and a half, or or thereabouts. Let's see. Eye of the storm. Protoss command ship. Gantrathor, low orbit over the planet I. As has been in all the previous missions. Executor, our plan worked perfectly. The Zerg defenses are broken, and the way to the Overmind is laid bare. The time for our stand has come. Indeed. My friends, this is our final hour. Not all of us may survive the coming conflict. Yet, death may be a blessing should we fail here. We seek now to destroy a foe that has ravaged its way across the universe, consuming all in its path. And now, it has reached the end of its long journey. The Overmind has come to destroy all that we hold dear, and assimilate us into itself. And I say to thee, this shall not come to pass. Fire shall not fall. Executor, I stand ready. As do I. Well, I guess all I have left is to see this through. The Zerg have taken everything from me. My home, my family, my friends. I know that nothing I do can bring those things back. But I'll be damned if I just sit on my hands and wait for the end. I want a piece of them, all right. I'm in. Then let our actions speak for us. For Adun. For ire. Okay. Interesting what Raina says there, because I mean you know that he at least had feelings for Kerrigan, but like where he came from? Don't think you really know. Did he have family? Don't think that's that's not touched on either, so Destroy the Overmind. Tazadar, Raina, and Theratul must survive. <laughs> not all of us may live. But these people have to live. Anyway. Protoss Arbiters can use recall to instantly teleport units to their location. Okay. Executor, Tassadar, this comes too late to you. But the Conclave has witnessed your defeat of the Cerebrate. They know now that they cannot deny the necessity or the valiancy of your actions. We sought to punish you, while it was we who were in error. You represent what is greatest in us all, and all our hopes go with you. Entaro Adun, brave sons of ire. Wow. Does that mean they're going to send some backup for us? <laughs> ah, don't, 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 go, don't go too crazy. Okay. Hey, look. We have, uh, Terran as well. Go ahead. We have Raider in the Hyperion. Reporting for duty. We actually get to control two different forces in this mission. Protoss and uh Terra. And they get to share resources amongst themselves. No choice. I hear you. Ah, there's the Gantra Thor. Your will. Five hundred, eight hundred, three armor, no shield armor. And the Inceptors do five damage each. I am going to do a terrible job of this, and I'm going to keep forgetting to reinforce one of my bases. We do have different supplies for each faction, though. So, no building like pylons. Uh, just for one faction. Your will? NCB, of go, course. Sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. How much resources have we got here? Hmm. It's a large field, but there's only about 1,500 in each of those. That's not that much Vespine gas there, either. 
8,000 here. And we've got even less resources around here. Yes, sir? Fire it up. You got my attention. Give me something to shoot. Okay, hop in there. You got my attention, Commander. Hop in there. Anytime you're ready. Uh, go down here. Go ahead, Actually, Commander. no. You, you can walk down there. Better have a good amount of resources around go, here go, because go. we're going to be spending go. twice the amount of resources for all the upgrades. Outstanding. <coughs> Rock and roll. This is something I rather like in uh, Brood Wars. Go, go, if you go. play as the Protoss, it is possible to actually play as all three factions at once. Go, go, go. Takes a bit of effort though, and it requires Let's the go. other factions to be on the map. But. Outstanding. If you can pull it off, you can have a real combined forces. How practical is it? Is it? Eh. <laughs> Let's move. Don't worry about that. Outstanding. Standing by. Rock and roll. Uh, they're going to attack at some point. I don't know where they're going to attack from. Go, go, go. Outstanding. Go, go, go. Let's move. Rock and roll. Come on. Let's move. Bunch up. Outstanding. SCP, good to go, sir. Reporting for duty. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Uh, right I back. want you to build another bunker here. I, read you. I want you to build a factory. CP, good to go, sir. Affirmative. Go, go, go. Build a gateway. Yes, sir. I don't know if I could actually repair my uh, Protoss buildings with an SCV. If I moved one over. I don't think so. Jacked up and good to go. This is Jimmy. Well, we can repair uh, Rainer. Which is pretty nice. Uh. You do get left sitting around a bit as a Protoss because you have to wait for building chains to be finished. Hello, welcome, welcome. <laughs> there will be a lot of Xenos to kill. Yes, uh, let's see. Yeah, build the academy. Orders, Captain. Orders received. And I want you to build another bunker right there. Hello, welcome. Uh, this feels similar to the last Night Elf mission of the Frozen Upgrade Throne. Complete. Uh, yeah. Job's finished. With the uh, controlling multiple factions. The missile tower. <clears throat> yep. 
that and get some of these. Yes, sir. Commander. And it will help no, a lot. No, no. You want a piece of me, boy? Give me something to shoot. Job's finished. Order, Scout. Job's finished. Affirmative. You want a piece of me, boy? Standing by. Rock and roll. Reporting for duty. Let me put some towers around over here. Ready to roll out. Yes, sir. Move it. You want a piece of me, Rosie? Jacked up and good to go. Job finished. Go ahead, jacked up and good to go. Research complete. Orders, Captain. Job finished. I read you. Affirmative. You've got enough minerals. Ready to roll out. You want a piece of me, boy? Gosh, that I got. You sit down there. You will. We'll start getting some interceptors for you. Cybernetics core. Upgrade complete. Orders served. Moving. Reporting for duty. Identify target. Orders served. I read you. Upgrade complete. And a cop's out station. That'll help with scouting. That built? Gotcha. Oh yeah, one of the patch notes, I think, talked about this. Job finished. The sound effect which plays when they finish building an add-on uh, structure is wrong. Uh, it plays an SCV saying, job finished, but there's supposed to be a unique sound effect where they say, add-on complete. So. They realized that that was something which uh, wasn't working in the original game. All oh, right, I have to. Received. I have to tell you to repair. I read you. Affirmative. Reporting for duty. Orders, Captain. Orders received. Right away, sir. Go ahead, Commander. I read you. Put another one over there. Orders, Captain. Roger that. Affirmative. Had one like there in the middle of the base. Okay, I want a robotics facility. Put that there. Get some dragoons. I guess a shield battery. Reporting for duty. Roger that. This is Jimmy. 
Okay, let's see. What have we got down here? More minerals. Okay. I have returned. Awaiting instructions. Build the observatory. Robotic support bay. Ah, uh, build a Stargate too. Actually, you can shove that there. I think I actually looked that up. I thought we were able to recruit Dark Templar, but it seems like we can't actually in StarCraft 1. That was only a Brood Wars thing. Okay then. Let me wait until I've gotten the uh, speed upgrade for you. Upgrade shields again. You have not enough minerals. Upgrade complete. Okay. Right. There's a bit of Zerg over there. Room for another base here. I didn't see how many how many resources that had. Let me save. So what have we got around here? I think this level is like a big crater. So there's a thing right in the center there. Well, the over the overmind is right in the center. And there's all these like cracks in the ground leads branching out from it. Thank you. 
Okay, no resources hiding back there. Not enough energy. Oh, pardon me, that's 75, not 50. Upgrade complete. Okay, more resources over here. Oh, you're preparing an attack. Yes, Executor. Zanashkulina. Your orders, Templar. And Taro Adun. Well, we'll keep them back there. Well, the Queen's killed off two of my zealots, but... Can you run along there? Are you gonna hit something and die horribly? We scan around here. Uh, there it is. There's the overwind. Some more resources over here. Quite a bit. A lot of minerals. Okay. attack from over here. I guess they go up there. Building a base up here would be good. We could protect there. Then they'll probably have a path up there as well. Hello, I see you. Go ahead, Commander. Additional supply depots required. For duty. We are under attack. Right? Anytime you're ready. 
need to build some better defenses along there. Actually, let me see. Oh. Orders, sir. Hello. No, you don't. You got my attention. You got it. Let's burn. Commander, fire it up. Right, yeah. We saw... So we know... Uh, defilers are able to cast plague on buildings and it reduces their hit points down to one but a protoss that is terrible because it means once the shields are run down on a building uh, the building is left with the one hit point and it will die really quickly for terrans it can be worse because if their buildings go into the red, they automatically burn down. So you can actually destroy weaker buildings with plague if you don't repair them. As we saw with the uh, missile turret here. So where did you come from? Uh, I need to build a bunker, like, here. Where was my other one? Job finished. I not have another? Uh, yeah, there we go. Absolutely. You, want a piece of me, boy? you just, like, patrol back and forth over there. They explain like Protoss and Terran's work fighting against each other in Starcraft 2. I forget how they do that. Probably just people still upset about the Protoss glassing some planets. Okay. Doesn't look like opposition is too strong. We should be able to expand to some of these places pretty easily. Oh, there's a lot of Vespin gas over here. So a lot of minerals, a lot of Vespin gas, both, both, both. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Okay. Nope, out of resources. You can all hop on that. For all the good it's going to do. Right, they're all amassing for a fight again. Your will. Standing by your will. It shall be done. Of course. It shall be done. Hmm. Tarakala! <laughs> Of 
course. Uh, right. So they came from over there again. my siege tank. Transmit. You have not enough minerals. Ah, so what's it called on it? Reporting for duty. Can I read you? Right away, sir. I just got to keep repairing them until the uh, plague wears off. Yes, sir. Ready to roll Orders, out. Captain. Orders, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Orders, Captain. Instructions initiated. Confirmed. Yes, exactly. Upgrade complete. Okay, as soon as we get... Ready to roll out! 4,000. Uh, 400. Affirmative. So what will I need to defend against there? Mm. Well, we could use the uh, tried method of a few siege tanks, some goliaths, and uh, marines and all. That's worked pretty well in the past. Not enough energy. Yeah, there's a lot of air defense in that belt in that base. I 
Is there another base like here? Not too many resources there either. Put two more if you want it. If you remember the last mission for the third campaign where we uh, destroyed that Zeldaga temple, you can assume that this is actually the same spot the same place because the uh Zelnaga temple was where the overmind was going to uh land itself so the place looks quite a bit different oh i need an army for the wives. Orders gathered. And some of those. Though, I could also just focus on building a whole bunch of carriers. Fleet beacon. Yeah, do that. And some more of these. And another Stargate. And another Pylon. And another Pylon. You address me. We don't have to kill the Overmind using Zeratul and the Dark Templar. That was just a thing for the Cerebrates. I guess because the, the uh, Overmind can't really resurrect himself. Or it itself. I was going to say, son, are you stuck? Son, you are stuck. Fantastic. I was trying to get him out of range so that they wouldn't cast Plague on him. Ugh. 
You've not enough Delightful. warriors have engaged the For Adun. Jorad? Yes, Executor. Get destroy that building. I'm waiting to I hear you. That's a lot of, uh. That's a lot of them. We are under attack. What are those things called? Ultimate. up here is still all right. Yes, Executor. For Adun. Carrier has arrived. You all look at us. Gauls. Contact. It will be done. The locus acknowledged. Yes, Executor. Of course. That's how the AI like to use defilers. They sit them just outside of your base and pop them up every now and then to use their abilities. That's just absolute length of life. You destroyed that? Yes, Good. Okay. Get over here. Yeah, what about over here? Okay, base. SCB, good to go, sir. Nothing. Orders, Captain? Right away, sir. SCB, good to go, sir. Again, also, the adaptability at the AI to, like, change up its tactics based on where you're building is pretty neat. I don't think it's scripted. Um, I think that some things which are scripted, like, if you, like, build a base in certain spot in certain spots, the AI will send an attack. But, um... I think it's pretty good at, like, just reacting to what you're doing. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Okay. You all look at us. Your will. Tarakala.
I guess you could also actually combine both of your bases. I read you. I'd actually do that. Ooh, what a what a radical idea! I could send a shuttle over and pick up a SCV and bring it over here. I heard explosion noises. No. Oh, okay. Okay, what about here? Not enough energy. Some scourges. They'll have those queens as well. Instructions. Can I take your order? Destination? Yes, sir. Orders received. Input coordinates. Strap yourself in, boy. Buckle up. Carrier has arrived. Carrier has arrived. Order scouted. Go ahead, HQ. In transit, HQ. I copy that. Instructions. Oh, I never updated your friendly point. Your command. Okay, that's one of those queens just dead. I hear you. How may I help? It shall be done. You can us. You can do. You can us. Destination. I copy that. 
Hang on, we're in for some chop. In the five, 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 five. Buckle up. Reporting for duty. Hello, how do you like being part of some a bit of cultural exchange? Yes, sir. Orders received. I'm pretty sure they can drop their resources off at a uh, nexus. Yep. No problem. Ooh, now the big question. Right Can you Garanthor. repair... Garanthor? Your command. Orders, Captain. I hear you. No, right you can't. Right away, nope. Meh. Only Captain. Terran units. Wah. Oh, well. Uh... Science facility. Affirmative. Actually, I think I'll build one of these over here so I can get some more SCVs. Okay, so I've got six of these at the moment. here more purple piece and here more purple piece yes executor it shall be done for our dawn you could use the uh science vessels and their uh shield on the carriers That would be helpful. It shall be done. Torakala. Of course. For Adun. Another reason for building all the carriers is that the queens can't use uh, broodling on them yeah, because they're flying units. So. Yes, sir. That's a lot of Zerglings. That's a lot of dead Zerglings. What <laughs> are they all borrowed? How many kills did you get? I hear you. Well, you've only got 11. Okay. Order scouting. SCP, good to go, sir. Calling online. Confirmed. 
Yeah, you do. You need to repair it. Go ahead, attack off. Destination? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Orders received. Go ahead, attack off. Acknowledged, HQ. Orders, Captain. Okay, good. And, you know, we, we could also build the, yeah, um, finished. build the, uh, whatchamacallit? <laughs> the, uh, nukes. That's an option. <clears throat> I think the AI is going to be a bit more on their toes in regards to, uh, destroying those, but, uh, hey getting you know destroying the uh, ghosts when you start calling in a, a nuclear strike but oh. should help a fair bit Complete. I've actually got a different icon down there based on which building we select. I thought it would be Phoenix for all of them, but no. Commander. That's neat. Yes, no. Affirmative. I hear you. Okay, uh... I think if I wanted to build more aircraft, I'd build a... more scouts, not wraiths. You must construct additional pylons. Job's finished. More of them! The fields will run blue with the power of our pylons. With the blood of our pylons? That's where the queens are sitting. There's the overwind. It's a detector. You'd, you'd kind of expect it to be. A whole bunch of scourges. <laughs> Delicious proton pylon juice. Protoss pylon juice. The drink of Zerg champions. Somebody calls Additional security required. Yeah, they're like... I don't know. <laughs> they're like those ring crystals. You just lick them. They're made of sugar. Oh, hang on. No, I need supply depots. Not... 
pylons. I need the other things. Reporting for duty. Call the shot. Never know what hit him. Okay, so if we wanted to drop a nuke on this place. Uh, uh, we'd probably fly in our ships first. Maybe there. Can you shoot over mountains? I, I think you can. But there's going to be... There's going to be, um... Orders, Captain. Job's finished. Detectors. Right away, so. Orders, Captain. I'm here. I'm here. Ah, uh, what about all the scourges? It's not really a good way to deal with those. Somebody call for an exterminator. Hello, welcome, welcome. But they taste like isotonic drink. Got electrolytes in them. Ghost report. Real lightning. Nuclear missile ready. Probably. I see you there. It doesn't take long for them to destroy that tower. Now, oh well, we'll just build a photon cannon there. I think they're stronger than the missile towers, anyway. Ooh. robotics facility. Now we need another bunker. Yes. Oh, you actually lived. Um... Fire it up. You've got 
got it. Well, I guess we can have another five out of round. Need a light. Want to turn up the heat? Rainer here. Fire it up. Quick! Finish it! Finish it! Finish it! Finish it! Finish it! Finish it! Okay, good. Okay, it's a, you know. Mm, Orders, a few ultralisks. We can rebuild. You want a piece of me, boy? Jacked up and good to go. Ow. Yes, sir. Roger that. Ready to roll out. Your command. Noob upgrade complete. You want a piece of me, boy? Destination? Give me some issue time, you're ready. Clearly. For duty. I just I'm needed coming. more siege. Go ahead, Commander. Uh, siege to check. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Rainer here. This is Jimmy. You want a piece I'm of coming. me, boy? They're not really attacking by coming up here. They're more attacking by coming from over here. I guess there's a slope there. Ready to roll out. Yeah, so they go up this way. You want a piece of me, boy? Okay. Upgrade complete. <laughs> I hear you. Yes, no. Okay, that's all of you. For our dawn. Let's see if we can uh, make a dint in their forces. It shall be done. I'm here. Finally. We'll bring you lads along as well. I hear you. Instructions. Your will. Of course. I'm, I'm, I need more ground support against those yes, old uh, hydralisks. So we'll build a bunch of reavers. Call the shot. 
Parriers are great against buildings and like individual targets, but they just Give me some to shoot. It, it takes too long for their uh for their little for their interceptors to get around and attack uh, each individual target. So the whole time their interceptors are wheeling around, they're getting shot at. I guess if you were attacking them one at a time like me, but I was wanting to focus fire. But... They're sending them from their other bases as well, so... It's a hydralisk den there, but they've probably got one that eats in their bases. Okay. Save. We'll send out the Reavers and the carriers. You I wanted to see the scout. It shall be done. How may I help? I hear you. How may I help? Instructions. The warriors have engaged the enemy.
I probably did damage on these. Have engaged the enemy. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> So many hydralisks. Just just constant hydralisks. Shall be done. Torakala. Of course. It shall be done.
down. Okay. Now, good. That's that's some progress. Uh, head back to base. They're not going to recolonize that. But we can recharge our shields and then. No, start working against this, I guess. I've only got to take out this. Yeah. Of course. Contact. So how many do I lose? Like three. That's not too bad. Taking out an entire base. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Call the shot. Well, sorry, forgot about you. Your will. We are under attack. Train has been coordinated. Vector on me. We are under Go attack. Ahead, Commander. Right on. Ready. We are under attack. For our dawn, it shall be done. This is where the arbiter's like recall ability would be useful. Do both of my races die? I guess so. Um. I read you. Right away, sir. Orders received. Because I'd be able to teleport my troops across the map. Pretty easily. I hear you. Um, oh, you're all out of resources. Orders, Destination? Orders, Captain? I'm listening. Buckle up. Input coordinates. In transit, HQ. Rainer here. Look at them all! They're just like sneaking around the outskirts of my base. Sneaky. Actually, a pretty small base there. And this one. Okay, so this is a major red base, this is a major red base, and then the other ones are two smaller ones. Brainer here. Right on. This should be good. you to build some bunkers down there. We'll land this over there. For duty. And I'll build another one over here. 
I don't know whether that's faster than just building one down there, but uh instructions. Yeah well. Wait, boy. There it is. I'm listening. I copy that. Strap yourself in, boy. Looks like where's where'd my dropship? Go ahead, Commander. Orders, Captain. Right away, sir. Your will. Okay. We'll head out over here. We'll start moving clockwise around, getting rid of the other bases. Just need some more ACBs because I'm. Not getting any minerals in. That's depleted. It's actually a good amount of resources there. Do I want to build a base here? SCP, good to go, sir. Yes, executor. <clears throat> hmm. Make use of me. Yes, executor. We are under attack. Should have brought a shuttle. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Yes, to haul my really slow raven. Should I build down here? A command center or a nexus? I think a nexus is tougher. Though I can repair a command center. Eh, whatever. I read you. I'm listening. Tell me I help. They both cost the same. Oh, you don't. 
Oh no, you made my grief even slower. Move not enough, minerals. How dare. We are under attack. Well, Flame and Bob died. Damn it. That guy owed me money. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. You will not build a base here. We will not allow. I hear you. Oh, hello. Oh, they did actually destroy my uh dropship. How nice of them. Oh, not my dropship, my Nexus. The other thing. Is there any uh hydralisks hiding around here? No. Destination. Okay. Strap yourselves in, boys. Get back up here. Of course. Yes, sir. Destination. Can I read you? Yes, sir. Can I read you? Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Your will. Okay, so there is two more red bases. This should be good. Right on. We are under attack. Ultralisks were red, weren't they? So... Might not have to deal with those? For Ardun. Torah Kalal. 
some shuttles. You're well. Great the waiting launch orders. Waiting for these things to crawl around. Yes, Executor. Instructions. Actually, attack. Running a little low on um. Yes, sir. Your command. Calls. Interceptors. Commencing, yes, Executor. Instructions. Affirmative. Gouge. You have not enough minerals. Affirmative. Okay, a number of them had actually lost half of them. You can hop aboard. We are under attack. Can I read you? Report for duty. Affirmative. Yes, Executor. Okay. Well, we've got a good spot up on top of the hill there to uh, attack some buildings. Go ahead, Commander. Orders, Captain. I hear you. Just Your finish. will. <laughs> The warriors have engaged the enemy. Oh, hello. You've actually borrowed some, uh... Hyperlists over here. Yes, Executor. The warriors have engaged the enemy. Now you've gone and done this. Go ahead, Bundle up. In the five, 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 five. How may I help? We are under attack. You want a piece of me, boy? Yes, exactly. We are under attack. Under attack. Instructions. I 
here we are under attack. Give me something to shoot. Rock and roll. I read you. Reporting for duty. Go ahead, Commander. Okay. Yes, Executor. Uh, Destination? I want you over here yes, because you're going to build. You want a piece of Hang on, we're in for some job. Uh, some Protoss buildings. Yeah, I thought so. Tattered our shields went out. Standing by. Awaiting command. Give me something to shoot. You want a piece of me, boy? Finally. How may I help? I want you. It shall be done. For Adun. Of course. For Adun. I want you to save. Of course. No, keep going. It's just a sucking colony. It can't do anything.
Okay, I think that's really all of uh, Red take it out. Ghost people. I hear you. There we go. That might be all of them. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's continue the push on to. Uh, oh. Whether the two of them. to go back over here. Bring you up. No one hit him. I'm gone. I'm all over it. And I hear that. 
drop a nuke right on top of it. That wouldn't have been enough to kill it. But it would have uh, badly hurt it. For a dawn. Enough of the idolist, sorry. severe damage ourselves. I will steer the Gantrathor into a collision course with the Overmind. If I can channel enough of the Dark Templar's energy through the hull of the Gantrathor, I should be able to bring swift death to the accursed abomination. Remember us, Executor. Remember what was done here today. May Ardun watch over you. No, oh, I guess I do have to use Dark Templar energies to, uh, to destroy it completely. Also, you see there the overmind structure went from a sort of reinforced shell one into like a weaker version. Yay! <laughs> Nearly two hours. Yay! Happily. As the chaotic swirling energy subsided, a heavy silence settled over the battlefields of Iron. Due to Tassadar's noble sacrifice, the Overmind was now dead, and the Zerg swarms were scattered and broken. But as the heroes surveyed their once glorious homeland, they realized that their victory had cost them all but their lives. 
I was left nothing more than a smoldering ruin. Though it's few Protoss who survived the final battle, could only wonder what the future would hold for their race. And far away on the distant planet Char, Kerrigan, the self-styled Queen of Blades, knew that the time of her ascension was at hand. Dun dun. Possible sequel? <laughs> I wish I could control the volume of those cinematics better. Ugh. Oh well. Constant problem with playing these old games. It's time for Lizard Rogue just to conquer the universe. There we go. There's StarCraft. And probably the first time I finished it without cheats. <laughs> Some of those missions are still pretty damn difficult. Not. Overall, it wasn't as difficult as I was expecting it to be. Um, but, like, the last three or four missions in the Protoss campaign, yeah, they're, they're, they're still pretty hard. Um, I felt like the AI wasn't as aggressive as I remember them being. Eh, oh well. Get to see all these backdrops here. I think some of these are for, like, terror defeat screens and all that. A thoroughly enjoyable game. I don't really need to say that, do I? This is the end? You thought there'd be a playable Zerg campaign? Uh, there was! Uh, we did that before the, uh, Protoss campaign. Possibly before you started watching. I have uploaded the, uh, previous streams I've done of this onto my YouTube channel. Um, linked on my homepage on Twitch. So, there is a Terran campaign, then there's a Zerg campaign, then Protoss. Each one has about eight levels each, I think. You only watch some of the Terran, you believe. Right. Right, right. But yeah, the, the story goes through... I, I like the story... Let's see, the story in StarCraft, it, it does feel like it introduces a lot of things with very little sort of backstory. Like, Jim Rayner shows up, and then Kerrigan shows up, and then it's like the next mission, they're sort of flirting with each other. And then by the end of, like, New Gettysburg, it, it feels like they have a relationship going on or something like that. Maybe? <laughs> it's never really made clear. In the player's perspective, it seems like things rush along very quickly, but I guess it's, you know time periods between each of the missions um uh, there's not really much mm, let me think and then you have like Cassidy show up in one of the Zerg, Zerg missions and you're sort of like who's this guy and he's going on about the Dark Templar and all that and how one of the Cerebrates is dead. Um, but I do like how the StarCraft 1 campaign focuses on different people at different times. Um, I think one of the things I don't necessarily like about StarCraft 2 is that it's very firmly focused on Kerrigan basically the entire time. Which, uh, like other characters show up and even like take center stage but it's still revolving around Kerrigan and I understand she's like the big character in the setting by that point but uh, I like having sort of these missions focusing on different people's perspective of an overall thing going on um yeah Next campaign is the Brood Wars expansion. Possibly. There is two... Uh, official, unofficial... Expansions to base StarCraft, which I'd like to have a look at. Uh, Insurrection and... Retribution or something like that. I didn't even know they existed until like a week or two ago. A week ago, so... 
I'd be interested in having a look at those. Maybe not directly after finishing this. I'd like to play something a bit different other than a strategy game. I think if I play those ones... I was thinking of patching my StarCraft game up to a more recent version, because this has just been 1.0 since that's what I would usually play it as, just installing straight from the CD. But I don't remember whether it requires you to have to install like one patch and then the next one and then the next one, or you can install the latest one and it like covers all the previous changes. What game genre would I think of streaming next? Um, well, I don't really have any hard and fast rules. I sort of just play whatever I feel like. That tends to be older games like this. Um, but I do have something in mind, which came out, I think, like a month ago. So, might play some of that. We're just letting the credits roll through as a bit of a relax after doing all that. Again, when this came out after Warcraft 2 and before Warcraft 3, compared to Warcraft 2, it's a lot... I was going to say a lot better. <laughs> Um, it's got a lot more content in it. Like three campaigns, three different factions, they all play pretty differently. Where I always liked Warcraft 2 visually, but mechanically I never really liked it because it... The two factions are basically the same, with some minor differences between them. A common thing with um, early strategy games um like oh command and conquer um total annihilation even to a degree though i understand there's more differences between the units there but there's still kind of subtle differences um age of empires because all the factions have used the same base and it's just which units they have and which ones they don't Credits to giving away cheats. <laughs> no pixels were harmed during the making of this game. To the best of our knowledge. There might have been some burn in while we were developing on CRTs. Okay. Of course there was a campaign editor too. Okay, well. That will be it for StarCraft. I'll thank you very much for joining. I hope you join me again next time where, I don't know, we continue with something else.